Hey everyone, I'm Christina from Christina of Light. Thank you for visiting with me here. When you watch my videos, you're always in a protective bubble of love and light, watched over by all my guides and angels. I am much gratitude to them for this. This is my Monday love reading. For anyone who's interested or called to it, so... I pulled these last night so I can as soon as I'm ready to do the reading, I can get right to it. I start trying to gear, gear in for the reading by um, feeling the energy. What we have here is someone who has really turned on new leaf. they've burned down their their past and I, I say that meaning they've you know the karma they this card here you can see this is this deck by the way she makes a she's got a ton of decks to choose from she's a, an amazing creator um, Angela from Mystic Moon if you want to check out her decks or her channel but um this person's been through it. They've done a lot of work. And they're just standing there looking at what used to be, but content in the finishing off of it, too, at the same time. Like, you know, almost like when you finally made it through something and you just take a breath. And, like, I literally see this, this man here just... I finally just you know whatever and then turning around and walking away from everything that's you know not needed anymore that's behind him it says lawfulness respect and integrity this person's had to real re the, this is the current energy right now too as by the way the, this person's had to reevaluate everything that they are they were just the grand scope of themselves and I see law this person may have had either issues with the law or they could be going through a divorce and could uh, could be anything pertain I mean I'm just surmising but they're they're, they're left in the end not having done anything unlawful. Um, they respect themselves for where they've been and where they're headed now and they have their t integrity still intact. The overall energy is family room. It says closed group, privacy, personal matters. And it's empty. So, closed group. Person's been dealing with that could be what the burning off is of karma and stuff. I don't know, when I look at this picture, if you look out the windows, it's got skyscrapers and it's very metropolitan-like. But if you look inside of this family room, it's a almost cathedral. And kind of like not the date of what you see outside of the windows. So I don't know if this person's burning down old 
internal patterns and old thought, just uh, an old life that hasn't evolved to fit the current day standards. Closed group privacy, personal matters. Yeah, dealing. This person has had to close himself off for a while to not only replenish themselves, but to regain a footing in their life and make room and clear out old things and really narrow the amount of people that this person's had contact with to allow for this change to proceed forward. Moon. Intention, emotion, fantasy. This person's had to go inside and reflect and visit their shadow side and deal with some stuff they've left undealt with for a very long time. It's what people aren't seeing. It's just what they've they have been dealing with themselves personally and privately. They balance themselves. They know who their friends are and aren't. Where their loyalties lie. And at minimal, who they're devoted to. I feel like this person's been humbled. They've, um, I feel like they needed to go through the ringer because they just, they weren't, they were fighting a lot of things in them because they didn't want to deal with things in their life. Because hurting does suck, doesn't it? But in order to pass through things, you have to allow yourself to feel. You have to allow yourself to feel to heal, baby. Revelation, achievement, new perspective. Yeah, this person's grown very wise through their process. They found the key to their heart, um, to what matters to them, who matters. But you can see like it's one key and it's got his attention now. The focus is on that key as well. It's a very large key. Because a normal size key wouldn't grab your attention. This, this person that's new perspective on this person and a revelation about them has achieved this perspective on this person by moving forward in his life. I'm saying he because there's he's on these cards, hymns, but this could be a female too. Um, it just depends on how it applies in your situation. You'll know if it's even for you. So this person's gone through some stuff. I feel long and arduous. I feel like they've been stubborn about it and they fought. I see like a child kicking, <laughs> grown person kicking and screaming like having a temper tantrum so this person doesn't like it when they're uncomfortable um, as we all don't but you know going through life and dealing with your shit is uncomfortable that's where you learn the most things 
That's when, that's when you learn to grow. Uh, no matter how awful the scenarios are. I hate to say it, but... So whoever this person is that they've had a revelation, a new perspective on, has been steady and durable and has really helped this person to anchor themselves. They didn't seem to have, they, they, that person thought they had a direction, but they don't. This person has helped guide them to a direction and help them to ground it and anchor it in. Birds of a feather flock together. Conversations, gossip. This person's, um, had to deal with many unworthy people in their life. And I say that respectively because, you know, it's kind of messing with the vision of the, I try to hold it as still as possible. It's, um, this person's had many of unnecessary thought patterns and I'm going to go out and let and say a lot of toxic people in their life. Kind of chirping in their ears and been around a lot of toxic toxicity. Birds of a feather flock together, so you need to pick your tribe carefully. Bear, boss, protection, authority. This person, um, you could work with this person. Bear's my spirit animal on this, could be your spirit animal. Um, it looks like they've come out of hibernation, so this person may have decided to trick out of this family room and start uh, moving on with their life. I'm seeing. And regain their stamina. Um, I'm hearing head of the realm. <laughs> um, I think I, um, I'm also getting hungry. So they're hungry for new things. They're, they're hungry to be nourished and replenished from where they've been and what they've gone through. Uh, I suspect this is probably a new place for um, these bears that they've broken into. <laughs> so I'm assuming this person is looking for or has found currently a new environment to place themselves in where it's more supportive because you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of food and wood and places to sit and places to lay down there's a lot going on in this picture and there's a lot of to me I see that as nourishment and providing for yourself Historic change, transition, patterns. Yeah, this person's changed direction and everything that it hasn't served them is moving on and they're walking away into the sunset from away from this death into that new horizon. Listening to the messages being delivered, birthing anew. That's what I get from the store, birthing anew. Oh. And there's our confirmation. Lovers, joy, love life, contentment. This person is heading in the direction of somebody. He's behind her, so... Um, he, and this could be a male or a female, just, you know, however, I'm just applying it as I'm seeing it with the cards. <clears throat> I'm not getting a distinct 
either way it's because I do it for, you know I'm doing it for a collective of people so it's gonna come out however it's this this scenario is playing out in your personal life this person is coming up from behind this person so I'm say I'm feeling like this person's returning I'm hearing from battle but I'm not getting like a it could be but um, and you know what this person's I'm feeling a lot of energy in this picture there's leaves blowing around there's water there's, um, you can see the wind. I feel like this is just going to, this person's just going to drop into this person's life, like, wait up for me. <laughs> wait up for me. I shouldn't have let you go. I shouldn't, this person shouldn't have let this person go. Insight, prediction, psychic vision, crystal ball. He sees her as very insightful, very knowledgeable. Um, I'm hearing impactful. That you predicted this. 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 Uh, he, he sees this. Female as. If they knew. They, they had known better. Yep. There's the communication words. Social media. Yep. This person is interested in catching up to this other person. Um, it's time. It's time for words unspoken. Oh. oh, God. Just feeling this person just misses your energy. Oh, my God. The, the color you, you bring to their world, you just light, you light up their world. I don't know what's going on with my, hmm, I'm so sorry, I just, I can see it getting blurry. Whew, you just light this person's life up. Yes, and this is how they see you. You are a blessing, you're, um, everything just flourishes. You're rare. You're so, so rare. And you just make them happy. I'm hearing because you're so happy. You are so happy. You love life. And this person misses that. This is, um, it's actually turning into a really, I mean, it was a fine reading before, but it's interesting. It's my afternoon coffee, iced coffee. <laughs> Gigolo, player, opportunist, ego. I feel like this is past energy. I feel like this person, there's a dragon behind them. I feel like he burnt, this person burnt a lot of people. In support of themselves. But, I think in the end, in the current energy, that person burnt all of that down. 
that's not who they are anymore. So um, I'm feeling like this person got some karma. Heart, passion, romanticism, empathy. This person's had a hard, a hard awakening. I could be this other person that helps um, break that open. This person's had an ego death and they really realize what is important and literally who they used to be and what their needs and wants were and, and really what they find important now. What, what they were may have satisfied them in the past but they've changed and evolved and they're a different person now and they want and need different things to support that now. This person, you, they let, they let this person get away, and they feel, wait a second, I'm getting ahead of myself here, they feel like this person that they're, they're coming to get was the person they, sh they should be married to now. They shouldn't have let this person walk away. Or whatever the scenario is. They have a past life contract they need to fulfill. A commitment with them. And it's a promise. This person will continue to have karma until this contract is honored. That's from the soul from their soul's point of view. But their urgency, this person's a, a beacon of light for them. How they light their world up. And it's just, it's like the Batman signal <laughs> Call, calling out to them. <laughs> yeah, courtship, dating, pursuing, honeymoon. This person wants this person as their, their um, spouse. This person, you can see this picture is just, it's a very nurturing, soothing, calming, centering picture. This person, this per other person, as I said, it could be male, female, whatever. Just between these two people, this person really they honor each other. They complete each other. They are a, a good fit for each other. And this person sees that other person as the person that fits into their, what they see for their future now. They're, um, they've put their past behind them and they're ready to move forward to new horizons. And in that new horizon is um, love. You know, that um, this other picture, you know, this man, um, you know, this person may have had a, you know, high, high lifestyle, business life, or, you know, um, you know, sometimes when, when you're in the business world, you, um, you know, your motivations are so. Um, along with that, you get caught up in it, and you know, you're if you're running a business or if you're, um, you know. However, it just yeah, you know, if you have a a racy lifestyle, can come from stuff, but in the end, does it feed you, nourish you, and sustain you? And you know, as we age, we get older and realize and need things that are different. And this person may have outgrown where they were at and this is what this person wants now, wants contentment, doesn't want that high intensity, stressful life, wants, you know, to, wants it to be productive and supportive and, you know, you know, loving. 
there's um, probably not a lot of love and <laughs> for the for the right reasons over here. <laughs> Could be fun at the time, but after a while, it doesn't sustain you. So eventually, it, you know, most people find their way there. And this is um, love messages. <laughs> love this stack, it's so cute. Look away, I want to surprise you. Hmm? That's probably because that person sneaking up on that <laughs> that picture with the they're on the. I can't tell. It looks like they're on a swing, but I'm not sure. Just being taken by the heat of the moment there. Um, it, it's coming up from behind her there, and that's look away. I want to surprise you. Yes, this person thinks the other person is very sexy, which I'm not surprised. I want to make things right. Yep, they sure do. And yes, I pray that you do love me too. I, I think this person's hoping and praying that you st that you still have feelings for them too. Because uh, they may not know, but they're they're willing to take a chance because they feel they've lost time, and they don't know how much time they have left to fulfill this at this point. I want to feel your skin on mine. They sure do. <laughs> I play the same song over and over because it reminds me of you. Um, you guys could have a, um, a telepathic connection and there could be a lot of synchronicities between the both of you. And music may speak to you. I get a ton, a ton of messaging from, from music because um, I'm Claire Audient and y'all maybe too. And um, songs, if one person's thinking of the other person, you know, it's songs can play or certain songs. Um, because of the energy between you both that connects connects you, you both could be feeling that. So, so this is um, another deck from Mystic Moon. The, the, the Divine Masculine Haunted. Oceans, waves roll in my thoughts. Yeah, you've... It's bubbling up right now. They really are having a hard time holding back. I don't foresee this taking much longer before this person actually comes to this other person. It's overtaking them at this point. Medusa, all these dreams become haunting memories. Yeah, you have lived rent-free in this person's head. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. I'm straining to reach the light. This person had to do a lot of shadow work before they could re-enter your life. They had to, you know, um, they had to shed a lot of skins um, to get down to that bare bone where they've, you know, finally unburdened themselves from everything that they, in their shadow, they had to deal with. Halo. I'm addicted to your light. Yes, they are. But it is that light that has helped drawing them back to you because it is, um, it's healing, it's nourishing, it's actually what their soul craves. And, you know, you could be a soul flame, a twin flame. Um, but either way, this person is incredibly sorrowful that at the time they weren't prepared for you in their life but they are now and they're hoping that it's not too late and now this is the same uh, mystic moon oracles the divine feminine divine feminine ghosted lie in the sound i love you more than is good for me Yeah, you both hung heavy in bo both of your minds. 
you'll see I have truth on my side you only have deceit yes when this other person when you walked away or when they walked away um, that could be that in intuitive crystal ball thing You, you predicted earlier on that this person would be back because you already you already knew what this person needed to go away to find out if you love something set it free if it comes back to you well you know that it was meant to be hands to heaven Hold me in the darkness. Yeah, this. You've gone through it too. <laughs> a lot of shedding, a lot of rebirth and death. That's what you got to do though when you, you know. If you're, if you're a divine feminines, divine masculines, however, that fits for y'all. Uh, you definitely have to before you can come together soul on fire your words are like gasoline flames in my heart and boy did it sting date this is a um island time wellness deck very popular deck Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date, yeah. This person's definitely coming back. But they're not the person they used to be, so if you're expecting some of the old stuff that happened before, it's not going to happen. This person's been enlightened, they've gotten their shit together. So you, you have to... If you're going to take this person into your life, you have to allow them um, to represent themselves then in their new light and honor that about them because they've done the work that it takes to honor you. And um, it's a very big rarity when that happens to somebody because usually people come back and they haven't done work <laughs> and they think just by coming back after time you're going to want them back but this person has sincerely done the job that they need to and ev evolving as we all should um so you know allow them you know give your both self both give yourself space and I reassure you that if it's meant to be, it's going to all fall right into place. The energy won't be there for you to come together anyways. If the if it's a divine connection, the divine's not going to let it come together. So, coffin, rest in peace. Endings, new beginnings, ab liberation, transition, change, growth. Absolutely. That's exactly what's happened on both sides. Time to put the old away and move forward. And after that unburying, this person's come out and realizes, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, or meet. That's a second surprise, so. Or meeting has, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde right now too, and people tend to revisit during that energy, so. This person is smitten, I hear. <laughs> Receiving what you need. Arriving. Yep. Here they come. With, looks like speed. <laughs> looks like that if it was a chariot card, but only on a boat. Healing heart. Yeah, this person's mended their heart. So have you. So, you know, two peas in a pod. Breakup, separation, stopping the patterns. Absolutely. 
Yeah, breaking old patterns and cutting ties with things that no longer serve to move move ahead in your lives. You, uh, they had to deal with old patterning and sabotaging themselves, lack of confidence, because they their past really dragged them down and they needed to, to sort through all of that so they can get to a place where they felt confident enough to finally part ways with it all to move ahead. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So I'm taking this as this person um, has been checking to see if you're with anybody now. Um, they're, they're, they're just trying to see if there's still a chance. Um, and really, in, in all sincerity, this person wants you to see their how how much they've changed. They're very proud of themselves, and they should be, um, because they sincerely have done the work to move themselves forward in their life in a very positive direction. Um, you know, hopefully, you have done the work too, so that you both can match up together, and you're both at the same level. Because sometimes, when people do finally realize things, they get rid of so much so quickly. And they level up so quickly, you know, they can surpass you <laughs> if, you're, if you're, you know, you've been going about your merry way. But I suspect that if it's time for y'all to be together, it will happen this time. Hand of cards. Take it. Yep, yeah, this person's going to take a chance and risk. Um, and be, they're being strategic about it. Um, and not showing their hand yet, but they're going to, you know, put a gamble on it and and they're going to go for it this time and hope for the best. And they're going to hope that, you know, there's a chance that you guys can work it out. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's what it takes people to do. They need a little bit of time to sort things out. You know, the, the, the divine timing just isn't right. It didn't. You, you had to meet to make the connection. But then you had to go away from each other for a little while. So you could all mature and, you know, get rid of your crap again. And then, you know, when um, the divine says it's good. It's time to come back to each other and that's that's fantastic because it's going to reassure the balance and the um the stability and in, in the in the new relationship now so well that is monday's love reading for somebody and it's a very positive movement forward for y'all whoever this is for it's fantastic it's what you, it's what you should want so um if you found it Good luck to y'all, because that's, like, really great, you know. Who can argue with, uh, this? <laughs> yeah. Second chances are, are awesome, because you're, you know, you know, you've learned a lot of lessons. You know what matters. You know what's, um, petty and what's not. <laughs> you know, so, you allow yourself a lot more. love one would hope anyway <laughs> thanks a lot guys i'll be back tomorrow for uh tuesday's cosmic eye and yes i had already gotten stuff on that um started yesterday so uh we have a message from stonehenge coming in tomorrow and some other things but um anyways thank you so much peace and love everybody have a great night see you tomorrow